home stretch is coming next and i understand he is a he that's right. enough information <laughs> for now good evening ladies and gentlemen yes yeah, sir my name is tolu afilaka and um I, uh, mr yinka i saw you on big brother sorry ladies and gentlemen i won't ask when big brother just finished when they want to start big brother africa shall we look at work me but i want to i'm a covenant student but i want to come from a perspective of the christian kind of big brother imagine there's a christian kind of big brother what would be the name let's call it big father instead of diary room we'll have holies of holies instead of ninja we'll have angels instead of parties we'll have worship nights someone like let's imagine bible characters in people that house someone like daniel he'll be able to read the writings of the war and then he'll win the head of house games someone like elijah they'll disqualify him because of his anger issues strong like jesus christ though you're a victim but after three days you'll come back into the house because you'll surely rise again then if you are looking for the condom in the house ask david or solomon adem 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 well <clears throat> that was our artist and was, was is <laughs> he's right here with us <laughs> uh, i'd like to welcome tolu afilaka thank you so much Mike. good Great morning you. thank you ma um, it's great to be on Sunrise Day, even though the sun did not rise. Uh, 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 sunrise. <laughs> sunrise. This is the elder brother of Sunrise Day. Oh, even though the sun did not rise today. <laughs> <laughs> well, is it still raining? Yes, it is. Oh, they are heavy. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. You know, let me report this guy mm. to you. Well, you know, he was supposed to come last week before the... Uh, but, but, but we had uh, arranged the previous guest. And then he's put it on his status and said, they say I'm artist of him. What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> but it's very true. I think I should be the youngest. Because I went through um, some videos. I saw Alibaba. I saw Damola. I saw Forever. I said me. Oh, we've had a 19-year-old. Mm. Oh, you had, we've had a 19-year-old? Yes. Okay. So I'm the second youngest. <laughs> no, we have, we've actually had a, uh, that, that kid. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. So You're right. She was about, she's about 13 years. You're right. Oh, yes. Okay, then I'll be touched. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome and thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Let me yeah. begin. Yes, sir. Hey, is that uncompleted oh, wait, book? Can I just finish don't, introducing sorry, don't, him? Sorry, don't, don't. Hey, hey, Thank you. Mr. Afilaka. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. He's a stand-up comedian. Please note the mister. He's a stand-up comedian, an actor, a writer, yeah. and a master of ceremony. He studied civil engineering. Oh, my God. Here we go again. <laughs> no, he, he's now constructing jokes. Yes. <laughs> Very correct. <laughs> <laughs> he studied civil engineering at the Covenant University. And he's using it to construct Oh dear. Jokes. Oh dear. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Sunrise. Thank you so much, Ma. Can I now? Good. Ask you may now shoot. Yes. That uncompleted joke. Yes, about the drone. <laughs> That's why I just like this, because in that video, you said, I think I wore this. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> so you, must, you must finish. We want to hear the end of that joke. Okay. So start, no, start from the beginning know. for those at home. Okay, I think it's important for us, you know, because technology is taking over the world. So I think it's important for us to also, you know, let the other side of the of people know that um, there's something called technology because some people are not really updated. You know, I was in church recently and you know these ten guys were trying to cover the entire church and we had some cleaners cleaning the you know church and then I just greeted I said mommy a carol she said carol I said yes ma next thing I heard was Jesus I said ah <laughs> I said mommy what next thing I saw she was turning ah I said mommy I need to is Joe she said roll Oh no you go you go <laughs> you know, and then she, she left the scene, so that, that, that was, that's, the, that's the end of the joke, sir. So, yes, sir. The, she, the own draw oh, no, the <laughs> <laughs> How has it been for you? Um, it's, it's been an amazing um, ride, like I said. Um, honestly, I never expected I would be here. First of all, you know, uh, Covenant University yes. is not a public school. <laughs> so, uh, just, 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 just putting it out there. Yes. And um, to study civil engineering there, you definitely needed, you know. <clears throat> Sorry. How did mommy and daddy take it? Um, when you decided that rather than construct... That, uh, <laughs> ah, so I, I faced a lot of panels. My uncles, my aunties. But you see, we are Look at them, all these people. They are not, you know, you need to have a 
something that you can lay your back on, you know, something in case this thing does not go well, you, so that you can, so you can live a fulfilled life. And, but I had something I see. I, I like seeing people happy. I love seeing people, you know, have joy. I know what it means not to be happy, especially in a place like Nigeria when things are, a lot of things are happening, you know. And I've always noticed this feeling since I was maybe, I think maybe 11. Yes, when I saw a comedian at the Living Faith Church, I know he was performing, and then, you know, Bishop Uribe was almost falling off his chair. And then I heard a voice say to me, as at 11, that you can do better than this. And then I started it. But from then on, I realized that it's different from being funny in class and being funny on stage. Because the first time I went on stage, I failed awful, man. I feel it so bad. <laughs> so I didn't realize How that, so? How so? Um, <laughs> you were nervous? When I got, yes. I had already prepared the jokes. I've written everything. I said, okay, I'm going to come on stage. It was Valentine's Day. I was going to come to secondary school. I was going to come on stage and go to kill it. And then I got on stage and I was just talking. And everybody was just looking at me. What's happening? Like, hey, take this guy away from here. <laughs> <laughs> I did. So I realized that there's a professionalism to this thing. Mm. And I actually got to realize from Alibaba that you have to read a lot, you know, to be a comedian, to be I, an artist. I was, on, I was at one of those events. Um, yeah. Um, spontaneity. Yes. I don't know whether it was the one that you were at, but uh, first of all, tell, tell me about your experience. My experience at spontaneity. That was my first ever. You know, I've had people, you know, go on and on and on. People were like, um, "Don't worry, just forget about it. You cannot do it because it's that's the I remember said that's the holy grail of stand-up comedy. Yeah, being funny on the spot. You know, so I scaled the first stage, the second stage, the third stage. So the final stage, um, I got to pick a topic, <coughs> a helmet and I froze on stage. I just said, okay, at least I've gone this far. And I just started talking, and then nobody laughed. I said, you all know I've been funny since morning, right? They said, yes. I said, but helmet me here. The whole erupted. <laughs> and Baba stood up, was clapping. Everybody was doing this. You know. Helmet me here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everyone was, you know, and I was, I was, I was, I knew this, you did body. <laughs> you know, it's Abinibi. Now, you, you also now said something about reading. Yes. I, I, I had a side chat with um, Ali Baba, you know, that day that I went there. Out of, I don't know, maybe about 10 people that came out, yes. only about three or so made some sense to me. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, I am, I've been in, in, in broadcasting, mm. media, and entertainment for yes. long enough to know good content. Yeah. So I just thought, like, don't these people read? Because <laughs> even as, an, as, a, as an, uh, an undocumented comedian, <laughs> <laughs> I could, I, they would draw traps on this. And the, these guys would draw dry. I was like, come on. If you only listen to news or read the papers, mm. there are jokes on every page. Yeah, there's literally jokes on everything. <laughs> yes, but how easy is this thing that I just said? Um, uh, like I said, um, Google has made everything easy. So when I was young, I, to, I want to last in this industry. And so I started you know, Googling how many of all these guys in the Western world did it, the white was um, in America and the UK. And I realized that a lot of them actually read a lot. Because if you don't read a lot, you can't write a lot. And you need to write a lot of content. Going to do this where you crack, you get one man, you get one guy. Now, so the, who is the guy? You understand? So I started, I started reading, and the more I read, my, um, my horizon was getting broadened. You know, I started writing more realistic jokes. Like I have a joke about the queen, you know, <laughs> should I say it? Yeah. Okay, so I had a joke about the queen when she died, you know. You know, it was a global news, the news shook the whole world. Everybody was posting the queen as if they know her, especially in Nigeria. That was the worst mistake for the news to get to this country. You know, one of my cousins posted, Mommy, we miss you. We are told, we can't wait to see you. This is my cousin stays in Akute. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my own mom, she's watching. She posted on her status, she now put Oriki, she now put soundtrack, I said, Mommy, she blocked me. I thought that was enough, and that's okay. Since everybody's posting, this, is like, this, woman is my, this, this woman is my grandma. I said, okay, I posted, Queen Elizabeth, 1926 to 2022, one boy now asked me, she don't die. I said, no, she's contesting the election. I <laughs> can ask the 40th question. So that's a very realistic joke, because, and I had to read a lot, you know. I had to understand how, you know, the Queen operates when she died. I had to know in 1926, because somebody can ask me, like, she didn't die in 19, she didn't, she wasn't born in 1926, you know. So reading helps you to broaden your horizon. You can relate more. And I don't just look forward to being in Nigeria. I look forward to stepping to the outside world. So if I don't know what's going on over there, then I'll just be a local champion. So the people, okay, you want to go? Yes. So this this civil engineering that you studied. <laughs> Um, why civil engineering when you knew you were going to be a comedian? Okay, there's a point in every, you know, 
adolescents. Don't forget that mommy and daddy are watching. Yes, yes. I mean, yes. They, they will understand now. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a point, there's a point in every um, adolescent's life. We There are some things we like, and there's some things starts to wear off as we grow up. You know, it just starts to leave you when you grow up. I won't say civil engineering left me, but when I was young, I loved um, structures. I loved going on the Todd Milan Bridge. I loved seeing skyscrapers on the island. You know, at the back of our house, I used to construct, you know, try to make things work. I said, okay, what goes in this line? I saw civil engineering and I went to study it. Little did I know <laughs> <laughs> that I wouldn't be constructing it, be constructing me. <laughs> you know, so I want, you know, I got to realize that everyone has their own place. You know, I met people in my class that were better than me. I did well, you know, I did my best, you know, but I got to realize that everyone has their own place. And the Bible says, let each one abide by its own calling. I was very strong in comedy when I was in school. I became a celebrity on campus, you know, people see me, hi, to I feel like, I was like, this is civil engineering, it's not civil engineering that brought me here, it's comedy, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that's it. But one thing I really want to say is that I really appreciate my parents for sending me over to Covenant University because Covenant University helped me to meet more, more people, understand life from a different perspective. It helped me to grow a community, you know, a lot of them are watching now, so the streams are always there, <laughs> you know. So yeah. that's basically it. Yeah, that, that's your joke at Spontaneity, the yes. one that we first played. Yes. You know, I'm just trying to imagine that you get to heaven. Amen. <laughs> David and Solomon are gonna come for you. They will come for me. Uh, I'll see. I'll, I'll measure more than they did. Ah. Uh, okay, you, David and Solomon. Hey, they are bad boy. <laughs> 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 they are bad. David. David, that he left his wife. He, the, see, his wife went to marry another man, and then he now told that man that he wants to start his wife back. He should go and bring him back for. Bring, bring her back. back. Yes, that's reconciliation. Reconciliation. No, he he ordered that go and bring her back. Since she's mine, he said no. Otherwise, his head will be cut off. <laughs> David. Ah, uh, David is one of my role models. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, this is your inter industry. We we yes. have about four minutes to go. This industry, what do you make of it as yes. an industry in yes. which you are a practitioner and you are aspiring to grow? Um. Our industry is to me, I won't lie, our industry is at the beginning phase. Yes, we have done a lot in the industry, but there are a lot, like a lot of young ones now getting into the um, industry. There's, there's another set called the New School of Comedy, you know, and a lot of us are now understanding what is attainable. We have podcasts, we have movies, we have, you know, comedy writing, there are comedy magazines, we have cartoon comedy. So we have literally just scratched the surface. And many of us now are looking forward to, you know, doing a lot more things like comedy specials, like I think SLK was here some time ago. So this is, a lot of things are still not done in the comedy industry, and that, that's what we are actually attaining to do. Alibaba, UK Bakasi, they have done so much for us, they have laid the foundation for us, and it's just left for us to build on it. Because um, you can't, you can't, you can't take them away from the equation. They have done so much for us. It's and everything. <coughs> How about what, the challenge? Okay, go what, ahead. What's the, what's the competition like? Ah, my, it's very competitive. But one thing that will stand you out in this my industry is originality. If you are original, if you have your own jokes, if people can know you with your own <coughs> jokes, if you are just another type of those people, they won't, you won't really last in the industry. But if you are original, you know, one thing that stood me out, like somebody told me, I think it was Basket Mount at, recently, was like, I like how you use English to tell your jokes. Mm. That helps. Um, just like Damola as well, he uses English to tell his jokes and oh, just, and that's, there's, there's a whole new kind of people that are cracking jokes like that. So, um, if you can stand out, if you can be different, if you can, you know, carve a niche for yourself, you'll definitely thrive in the industry. And the challenges? The challenges, <coughs> one of it is, um, we need, right now we need people that can promote custom comedy. Promotion for stand up comedy has actually gone a little bit low. Hardly, those, those days, I, when I was growing up, I used to see stand up um, Night with Thousand Laugh and all those um, you know, stand up Nigeria on TV like regularly, African Magic and all, but it's not like that before. So we need more people to invest in the stand up comedy industry and you know, promote it on their platform on but, social media. Well. Uh, uh, though, of course, we have some. The Alibabas uh, have their shows, yes. the AY, yes. Forever. Yes. You know, from time to time, they all come up with these shows, right? Yes, they have all these shows, but you know, sometimes. Um, it's not really easy for a lot of young ones like us to be on those platforms because we still have people ahead of us, mm -hmm. you know. But if they can, you know, invest in young ones like us as well, because we have some, like, my comedy club jokes on you. If people can come in, it's okay. How can we put this on platforms for you to stream, for people to be there? It's but you can put them on platforms yourself. On YouTube. You can put them on we YouTube. Need to, yeah. We need to sponsor them. Mm -hmm. we need, and it's not really easy because some companies like an entrepreneur, you know, 
Mm. There is no other place you are getting funds from except you do shows. Mm. So if you get people to be like, okay, I like, can I advertise my um, stuff on your um, show, on your stuff, then we can have leeway. Okay. So you've given us a clue, but then let, yes. what, what are we to expect from Afil, um, Tolu Afilaka? Um, is that your stage name, by the way? Yes, my name, stage name is Tolu Afilaka. I got that because, you know, over there, they have Kevin Hart, Eddie Murphy, and, and I was looking for a stage name when I was quite young. I was thinking, okay, maybe use MC. I said, no, why not just do Tolu Afilaka? And then I stuck since then. And that's your real name. That's my real name. My full name is Iola Afilaka Tolu Alashe Oluabu Sayomi. <laughs> Don't even but if I use that, if I will, no, I will, no, I will be here. You won't sell. No, 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 no. So, <laughs> what are we expecting from My new be long name. MC <laughs> long name. Um, what we're expecting is, um, I have a comedy club, Jokes on You Comedy Club. Um, it's a place where comedians can come out to test their jokes, you know, and build an audience. I'm also working on the Where podcast. is that place? Um, I, I don't have a particular place, but I used certain venues, okay. you know, then we have the event. Um, I'm starting a podcast, it's called That's My Time Podcast. I'm trying to document the history of comedy, um, like in a library form, in an organized form. So that's why I'm doing the podcast, where we can interview the Alibabas, those guys. And so if younger ones like myself are coming up, they can always listen to it for reference and how the industry. So those are the current projects I'm working on. And I'm also working on building a studio. Very soon, it's, it's be out. It's going to be at Festac. I see that you also do flicks, comedy, you know, um, what's that? Skits. Yeah, I do comedy skits. Yes, I'm. I like doing comedy skits. I'm, yeah, I did um, Papa Benji as well. That's a series. I did This on Arrival as well. That's a series for Bovi and many, other, many others. But I'm more of a stand-up comedian. Okay. Yeah. And um, business has been good? <coughs> yes, business has been going well. I thank God for someone like um, Damala. Damala is my mentor and forever. Um, Damala is someone that has given me a lot of platforms. He he's always just calls me on the phone and I told you, I want you to go to this place for me. You know, I, I'm, that's, that's the benefit of having a mentor. You can leverage on that. And then people don't question him because they know him. Um, so and they he just take his integrity. Ex exactly, he's taking his integrity. You know, we could go on and on because you, this, this young, young people, you can be very intoxicating. Well, I've also so done, I've done some one thing again. You know. I was a manager to a magic show. Yes, I, was, I felt so bad when I was in university. Before I started doing stand-up, I was a manager to a magic show. I felt really bad and we had to break up. What happened? Ask me why. Um, I saw the boy in the carryover class. How can he turn water to wine? Cut and orange you cannot pass exam. I cannot turn F to A. <laughs> 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 Stand-up comedian, yes, um, actor, writer, and master of ceremony. And Thank you very much. engineer constructing you. jokes. Before, before. <laughs> no, no, constructing jokes. Yes. yes. Thank you very much for coming on Sunrise this Thank morning. Thank you so much, Ma. And that rounds up Sunrise for today. We will uh, see you again next week. My name is Alero Edu. Have, have yourself a wonderful weekend. And I'm Ayo Makine. It rains today, so be careful. It's still raining. Still raining. Have a wonderful Bye. rest of your weekend. Bye for now.